kind of state of our science today. We've been watching Lee and tracking it pretty much every advisory for the better part of a week. It's just a matter of when it does eventually get here a week, 10 days later as to within 50 to 100 miles of how close it is going to be to us. So there's going to be plenty of lead time and a lot of run up to a lot of these tropical systems. It's just a matter of how close they're going to be to us. This one, we are on the western fringes of it, and it is providing at least some shower activity this morning. We'll see the rough surf, especially as we get up to about high tide here in about five hours from now, and we will continue to see the winds ramping up even as this thing continues to lift northward through the daylight hours today. Top winds at 80 miles an hour is no longer officially quote unquote a hurricane. It is a post tropical cyclone, it, meaning it is losing some of its hurricane characteristics as opposed to a warm core system going into the cooler water. It's starting to kind of gradually transition to a normal area of low pressure, but the impacts for us are the same winds possibly gusting over 40, especially near the coast and up north where we have a wind advisory posted the rough surf at the coastline, the beach erosion possibilities and the rough seas going all the way through the afternoon and into tonight. You can see on storm tracker that we continue to see some areas of rain. Now this is a tropical type rain, although it is coming from a post tropical system. This is a general steady light to at times moderate rain. A quarter to a half inch is a possibility with this kind of wrapping around that. We do expect a lot of that coverage of that rain to start to wind down here by around noontime or one o'clock. Biggest gusts at the moment are closer to the coastline, but again, we will continue to see these numbers escalate as the day wears on. For more on the effects and how today plays out, meteorologist Matt Honig has more on that. And Kevin, we really came within a very close margin of this being a major storm for us here in New England. Thankfully, with the storm about 150 miles off of the coastline this morning, we really are just getting brushed by this on the extreme western edge. Now, this is technically no longer a hurricane. Again, the official term now from the National Hurricane Center is a post tropical cyclone. Basically, while it's still packing the same punch, it's lost a lot of its tropical characteristics. And as this process happens, we often see the wind field of these storms really start to expand. This is a map showing where uh, we're having forecasted tropical storm force winds here in yellow, and these are actually hurricane force winds here in red. And look how expansive this is over a 600 mile diameter across this entire storm. Again, we really are just on the western fringes of this with the strongest winds largely staying offshore this morning. This yellow shaded area Area, generally showing where wind gusts could top 40 miles per hour. Now, as the storm pulls away, the winds will actually kick up for a lot of us across New Hampshire today, especially in the higher terrain through northern and western parts of the state where we could get some gusts over 40 miles per hour. For that reason, a wind advisory continues for all of Coas, all of Carroll counties and northern parts of Grafton County. This goes into effect the next couple of hours all the way through midnight tonight. But you don't have to be at the coastline or on mountaintops to see strong winds today with some gusts even as high as 25 to 35 miles per hour over the interior before things really do start to wind down this evening. So while this is not going to be a major impact for most of us, coastal and northern parts of the state should gear up for those gusty winds in the coming hours. Maybe if you have any loose outdoor furniture and belongings, maybe like umbrellas or loose chairs. Just a good idea to secure those through this evening. And while power outages are really going to be limited, probably a good idea just to have the generator ready to go, though most of us are probably not going to need it. Once Lee passes by us tonight, big improvements in store for the rest of the weekend. For more on the extended forecast, we'll bring back Kevin. Totally different day, a little bit of a lingering breeze, but 70s and sunshine for the day tomorrow. We'll have one other period of rain in the seven day forecast that is slated and centered around Monday. Day. Otherwise, it is lower 70s for highs and a lot of sunshine for the remainder of the next work week.